I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. John the Mouse travel map is available for Google Maps. It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. Let's start out by informing you that I have emailed over 30 individuals that were in Silver Gold Band's trade group from a list I had received have also reached out to others to receive their information too. During this video, I will be looking at a lot of different angles to see if there's some of the rumors are true. Our main goal is to see if we can locate the truth about Silver Gold Man. Let's go over some rumors that YouTubers are thinking and saying. He has scammed everyone, deleted his channels, and ran away with the crypto co-op farming money. Now, it is true that Silver Goldman hasn't been active on any of his platforms. Yes. It's also true that some of the YouTube channels are gone. It is true that his website is down. I started looking at some of Silver Gold Man's videos to see if I could find some answers to see if he scammed anyone. If I'd scammed people, th there would be videos on YouTube about it. You would have heard about it. There's, I don't scam people, I deliver. There you have it. He said, he don't scam, case closed. But this isn't one of those half-assed reports that don't even ask the person if they even invested. If this is watch group had did some real work, he would have found out that he had his own small mining farm in Canada. So he don't need to invest in the co-op. Some might say, it was more of uh, a garden. Let's keep moving on. I couldn't find all the videos on the crypto co-op farming. Why would he hide them? I did find the answer in his own words. This is the way I see it. This guy is trying to smear me again trying to hide the truth. It's the same cryptocurrency guy that took down my silver gold man. This is what I've complained to YouTube. I'm like, hold on a second here. This guy is responsible for taking down my original silver gold man under two strikes, which he had nothing to do with, which is what I'm saying again to YouTube. I'm like, hold on a second. This guy is claiming copyright strike on material that he, that he does not own. Why are you allowing this to go through? I'm not going to put up with this, folks. If I end up, uh, you know, dead and gone on YouTube, you know, because the, the way this is looking, remember, I'm hopping in a car here on Saturday. I'm going to be away from my YouTube channel. I, I'm, I'm actually considering closing up all my videos just because I can see where this is heading. I'm going to be on the road. Won't be able to come back here and fight off any of these strikes. I'll come back from my holidays. All of my YouTube channels are closed down because YouTube did not listen to me when I was warning them. Listen. This is the same guy, he changes his Gmail account, but it's basically cryptocurrency watch guy. It's the same one across the board. So I, that's why I was telling you guys, I'm over at Vimeo, but I don't even have time at this point to open up, sorry, to, to start uploading video after video from my YouTube channels on this. Like I'm, I'm, Like I said, I have no choice. I'm really considering locking up on my videos. So if you come across this one, well, that's the only one I've left up just to let you know where I'm at. So, who was all attacking his channels? Let's look at some of the evidence. 
Now, Silver Goldman points out that Cliffy was on in on it. But don't worry. Cliffy, he tweeted out that we better get a good cons at conspiracies. So, let's start one. If we don't want to get our hands dirty, what would you do? We'll send someone else to do it. Or a faithful attack dog. So this next one, I have some experience with. I had given him permission to use one of my videos. Now this was before I knew he was a little ankle biter. Now for the rest of you, I do put out license for some of my videos. Just follow the license details. Not all of them are the same. So let's look at this crypto watch guy. He ended up getting a new channel after fighting copyright strikes with Silver Gold Man. This guy doesn't want you to use his work in any fair use work. Now, as far as I know, YouTube is an American company that follows American laws that does allow fair use to everyone. Uh, let's look at this page from fair use. Looks like he copied it from the page. And look at his motto. It looks like he stole it from the FBI. Or is he impersonating an agent? Now let me show you that he's stealing my video and making, uh, or trying to make money off of it. He has put the full length video up on BitTube. Now, will he just delete the videos and credit the coins to me, or will he file copyright strikes and then take the credit? Surprise, surprise, the strikes begin. Okay, let's dig deeper into the second part of the question. Did he run away with all the crypto farming co-op money? Now, this part's a little more complicated. This is where a lot of information comes from everyone that I emailed. Now, most of the people I emailed that answered back didn't get into the mining co-op, but they did have a lot of nice things to say. All of them sounded like they wanted to help. There was one that said they maybe lost a thousand dollars and spoke to them and talked about a guy in Vancouver that had all his rigs. I did have two that replied back that uh, got their money back. This is the first one. Now, the second one I got, they gave me their emails that was sent to Silver Gold Man in a text file with edited parts. I will, I will block a few more things to keep their BTC address safe. From uh, what I can tell, it looks to be the real deal. Let's start out with uh, February 7th, when the person gets the information about the rig they will be investing in. March uh, 14th, uh, Silver Gold Man sent an uh, email. You can uh, pause it and read it if you want there. We're just gonna keep moving along here. Now on March 15th, they uh, said they would prefer to hold onto the funds until go time. So later on, Silver Goldman said that he would go ahead with the cash purchases on the, uh, the rigs, but that didn't happen until the next month. Now, March 20th, BTC moved out of his wallet with another wallet's funds from another address that equaled about 7.5 one coins there. See here, the March 22nd, they asked if if he didn't buy the rigs that they would like a refund. The same day, Silver Goldman had cashed out of some coins there. April 6th, email was sent requesting a refund again. Now, 
just a few days later, Silver Goldman puts out a video on April 8th. Uh, embarking on, I've gone over to Vancouver and I've picked up the first set of rigs. This is uh, those of you that sent me the cash. I went over and grabbed the first group of rigs. Uh, those of you that are, sent me the Litecoin, Bitcoin, I'm still waiting prices to go up. It looks like we found the bottom. It now, we know he said the ones that sent cash, he built mining rigs from the parts he got from Linus in Vancouver. Linus told me that um, if I modify the graphic cards, the warranty is void. He said, however, everyone, the miners, all go ahead and modify the cards because it is worth it. RX 570 right? So, yeah. April 10th, Silver Goldman got back to the previous email and then was ready to send a refund. So after the person got their money back, what did Silver Goldman do with the rest of the BTC? We know it did move out of the wallet. So did it go into Tether like he talked about in one of the videos? Or did he buy more rigs? I sent Linus an email asking if he had stopped over to buy some more, but I have not gotten any response back from him. Now, after this time, he was talking about setting up his crypto co-op mining farm. He was showing different places that he was looking at. Now, you can see here, I got a few clips of uh, around June 27th, 28th. He puts out a few videos saying that he's going to go traveling. So if anyone else happens to be traveling here to Vancouver Island, let me know. Or if you happen to be living anywhere else here in Canada, I'm traveling over to the uh, Ottawa Valley in the next few days, leaving Vancouver Island. So if you're somewhere along my journey, if you want to join up and have a copy somewhere, uh, let's do it. Send me an email. I'm, I'll be traveling with my daughter. So Now, I have another person confirming that he they were going to meet up with Silver Gold Band along the trip, but had a change of plans. Now, July 17th, Silver Gold Man puts out a video saying he has won his channel back. And from what I can tell, he might still be over in the valley in Canada there from the few videos and info I have seen. Very, very happy. I've been busting a lot of frauds here in, on YouTube over the years, Fukushima specifically. So yeah, I'm back. Now, is he looking for a building to put the co-op mining farm in? Or did everyone take the rigs back? Gone, gone. Gone. I mean, just almost everyone has completely shut down. This, this isn't even on. This guy shut down last night. There were rigs all here. I couldn't even. I didn't even have enough space for all these rigs, and I sold these for ten thousand dollars each. Now, will we be seeing a silver gold man GoFundMe page like Jared, or is he buying everything he can? What is it, Saturday? So today the Bitcoin is like 3,800 bucks, 600 bucks, something like that. It's very cheap. And obviously everyone's dumping their GPUs, which is great because I'm gonna buy them. So I don't really care. Go ahead and dump them. I can't wait to buy them. But um, this is what I have currently set up for my warehouse. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the information that you have received here today, I would encourage you to share this with everyone you know. I do have more for you to view, just press on the button, and if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.